So after all these years of us talking about ritualism that's going on in the church and people getting involved in these things with babalawos and so forth, uh, looks like one particular pastor decided, you know, it was enough. <laughs> he couldn't stand it anymore. <laughs> According to the description of this particular video posted by Nana Kwaku Bomsang, uh, he says that he is now initiating, he was initiating a pastor who had a church with about 80 members. And I guess the church was not growing or something like that. It was not like the numbers were not going up. Okay. I think the growth of the church is the pastor maturing enough in order to know how to get people to listen to the message of the gospel as far as you are capable of actually uh, communicating the message. The more effective you are able to communicate the message, uh, the more people come towards your particular direction. It's actually added to the Daily Christian Commentary videos. If it's your first time over here, do be sure to check out the other videos that are down in the pinned comments. But of course, we understand why people like this exist. We understand why people like this man them are out there. Out there supposedly looking for powers. Out there being said to be looking for what what so that they can expand their what what. <laughs> we, we dare not even call it a church to say the least. And so the detective here, yeah, y'all know what it is. Man, them is rocking up. Oh, this church, this shit does make me feel like I'm a bit buff, ne? <laughs> Makes me feel buff. <laughs> Help me not to get myself into trouble. But there's a reason for all things. But I will alert you, okay? We are we are on set for a Netflix thing thing, okay? So do be on the lookout. I'll alert you when it comes out and stuff like that. It's quite an interesting thing. We are one of the backgrounds. We are there to help enhance the experience of this. But I'll tell you about that only later on when it when we are done shooting that. Okay, so that's why man them is suited up, ne? like thingy thingy and whatnot. He's saying that he's conducting a ritual here of initiation. Fire, 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 fire. So y'all know what the what I think we once did a video. He screams fire, then they 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 scream the name of his god or fire, fire, something like that. Fire, 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 and so fire. they set the camera and then went on to doing the ritual, right? And so the pastor is the one on the right with the red, yellow, and uh, orange. Okay, fast forward. And then Nana comes up. Remember when the Bible talks about the Pharisees loving high seats? Or the seat of Moses? I guess they have one in the shrines of Satan over there. And also remember the name Nanakwakubang Sam, I think it's like Satan, something Satan. Somebody will translate it if you remember it down in the comment section. And so the pastor is going through this ritual or ritual rites as you might put it. Whether genuine or not genuine, I guess they spill gin. I've said this before also, you know, that this idea of this spiritual... Mm, you have to spit it on your head. I've said this this ritual stuff that's being done in front of cameras nowadays. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Uh, okay, 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 okay. I'm going to silence that. Sounds like some form of an animal that they are going to... We can't say it here. In, on the camera I want you to know something there's something about people that want occultic power that's just kind of like weird but that's them y'all man them is weird to begin with was just having about 80 members and now uh, he wants the powers of Kofi with their powers he has about 2,000 so he went over there just to get 2,000 members now I know 2,000 members amounts to a lot of money that's that's the kind of like mindset that they have it's like oh 2,000 people that's a lot of money. 2,000 unbelievers in your church. Just so you could make money. You had to go through a ritual of this form. Now, they do do something with this animal that they have in his uh, in the in this guy's hand. 
they instruct him into a certain confession Did you hear that part? You'll be able to prophesy something like that. Benin, Benin, y'all are about to get a <laughs> false prophet. <laughs> you're not a true prophet. Is it, you're not a true prophet because you said something that actually happened. You're a true prophet because you're called. It's not the the authenticity of what you said that makes you a true prophet. It's the calling from God. Okay. Yes. It's when God has said that that particular message when it comes from God. So, you can prophesy all you want. That doesn't make you a true prophet. Don't get it twisted. He's a bit distant, so the audio is not clear. So that's why I always say, guys, this thing of people like just waiting for someone. Oh yeah, he said something and it actually happened, or it was authentic. It that 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 that. That means absolutely nothing because the person might not be called. Cause the the pastor said something, it happened, does not mean that person is called of God. And another thing again, um, because you 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 you, you Mr. Charlatan, me. Because you went and did a ritual of, of a certain type or something like that, because you did a ritual that actually then ended with you actually having something happening, whatever that something is, it does not mean you have a calling. It does not mean that you actually have a calling. And so at one point, you might actually feel like they, with all this, with all these things that have happened here, uh, you are called because you said something or not. If you are saying that to yourself to kind of console yourself to what you did in order to get into this thing, just a reminder, you don't have it. You do, you're not called. And I think that's a quite an interesting one, especially when you speak of uh, ancestral worship and whatnot. You can see how these things are almost aligned. Okay, there's a worship of devils. It has nothing to do with God. It's it's not just wrong. It's not just false doctrine. It is actually the worship of demons. That right there is an inspiration for episode of. <laughs> Oh, of another episode for for uh, the doctrine of Ilos. If you remember, we did two episodes right now, right? And so I think this is an example of it. And I think that that particular thought, I need to go back and look at that scripture again. It's the worship of demons because the, the God's uh, sacrifice, the ultimate sacrifice was given. And so there's no other sacrifice that you give that's acceptable but unto demons. And so they give you these things to go out and sacrifice because those things are not done unto God. They are done unto demons. So first of all, the killing of that animal that had to die in order for you to come into this particular gifting from these demonic people or demonic beings, it comes from demons. Let's get that straight. Do not get it twisted. Now, whether the power this thing will work or will not work that's a completely different subject i don't we don't even need to go there the subject matter here is to whom do you think this thing goes to is there even a chance that god would accept your sacrifice no 
because that thing it's unto demons and so if you had any care whatsoever for having a relationship with god as a pastor this is definitely not the way to go about it but i thought that was quite an interesting one to see that there are people that are still going there and if you think of this entire ritual settings that that is going on here it tells you it tells you why a lot of people are really doomed here because they just never get enough two thousand members was not enough he has to go back again for more powers into more rituals in order for him to come into contact with this particular power that he's looking for for me it's already weird that these things get to be filmed yeah it that's already weird already as it is as i stated it on the video with the Coco Maweni episode and people come out here like oh you're always against men of god no these are not men of god that we're talking about these are false prophets of course there are people that we talk about because of teaching wrong things but then there's this ones who are false like this one yeah this one is a legit false prophet whoever this guy is yeah you are a legit like you are certified you are a certified false prophet because you have to go that far to try and authenticate yourself in an area that you know very well you're not called in okay and so there's those that are just wrong on a certain doctrine there are those that are just teaching dangerous doctrine that were passed on to them and then there's this ones these are not false prophets it might sound like we're talking about legit no these are not legit these ones are false like to the core but anyways thought to give a heads up out here now you see why there's so many of this type of people the more desperate people get the more they look for an easier route easier route might be church easier route might be becoming a charlatan one other way or whatever i mean a forex guru <laughs> or just this and so by either ways there's many ways that these people find themselves becoming charlies it's tricky other episodes down to the down in the pin comments and i'll see you on a later one